Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about how to get your dress pants to fit perfect every time. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Slouch. I'm George, if you have not hit the subscribe button yet, please do that right now, it really, really helps us out. Today we're gonna to talk about how to get the proper fit for your dress pants every single time. And when I say proper fit, guys, it has nothing to do with how tight or how loose your dress pants are, it's gonna be more the proportions of it. So if you want skin tight pants or you want a more relaxed fit, these are still gonna work for you. So the most important thing when it comes to your dress pants is getting the proper fit in the waist. If you go too tight, it's gonna make you look a little bigger than you are, especially if you have a little extra gut around the midsection. If you wear pants that are too tight around the waist, it's just gonna suck you in and accentuate your love handles. Um, if you're a skinnier guy, you can probably get away with it, but you're still gonna get a lot of pulling in the crotch area, which isn't gonna look great. So you really wanna make sure you have a proper fit in your dress pants. So something that you can't pull down around your waist, but you can still get maybe two thumbs in the waistband. All right guys, and now that you found a proper fit in the waist, the next thing you wanna focus on is how the pants fit through the leg. So you always wanna have kind of an inverted triangle coming down to your ankle. No matter if you want a skin tight pant or a more relaxed fit, you still wanna taper the ankle towards your shoe a little bit. You never wanna have a pair of pants that's like skin tight in the thighs and then like straight legged through the calf down to your ankle. It's just gonna look unproportional. It's gonna be like an unintentional bell bottom and it's not going to look great. So the key is to get something that fits snug in the thigh and then just tapers down from your knee to your ankle. You don't have to go skin tight. You can if you want to, um, but still, even if you have a relaxed fit, you do wanna taper your pants down to the ankle. So once you've found the proper fit through your leg, you really wanna think about what type of break you want in your pants. So a break is pretty much how much of your pants touches your shoes. Now, if you're going with a no break or cropped situation, you really wanna have your pants as slim as possible and really get your pants as close to the ankle as you can because it's just gonna make a more streamlined silhouette and the wider your pants are, the more it's just gonna kinda of flow in the wind and look like a pair of high waters and not look as intentional as you would like it to look. Now, if you're going with a quarter or half break, which is what I recommend for pretty much everybody unless you're trying to be very fashion forward, um, you can go with your pants slightly wider and let them really fall over the shoe because if you go too tight, it's gonna bunch up in weird ways and not look correct. So you do wanna leave a little more room when you go with a quarter and a half break. Not too much, but maybe just like a half inch more than you would with a no break or crop situation. So today, as you can see, I went with a no break kind of tapered look because I am wearing very, very slim Italian tassel loafers. So there's not a lot of substance or weight to these shoes. They have very thin soles and they're very thin and streamlined. So you really want your pants to match the type of shoes you're wearing. So this is the perfect look for a slim Italian loafer or a slim wingtip or even a sneaker. But if you had something like more of an Allen Edmonds type shoe, you would want a little more width in your pants and maybe a little more break as well. Just because the Allen Edmonds shoe is made on a wider last, has a little more substance, the sole is a little bit thicker because of the Goodyear welt. So you're gonna want a little more weight in your pants. And if you taper your pants too tight and you have a shoe that big, it's gonna make your foot look bigger and you're kind of gonna ha look like you have clown shoes on. Okay guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. One last thing before I go, remember that you wanna find a pair of pants that fits in the waist and through the thighs. Like that is the most important part to find in a pair of dress pants. And then you can take it to a tailor, have everything else tapered and hemmed down to the perfect height for you, but make sure you have enough room in the thighs and the waist fits properly because those are gonna be the hardest things to adjust. So if all you have to do is take a taper from the knee to your ankle, um, you're gonna be in good shape. It's probably gonna cost you about 15 or $20 and you'll have the best fitting dress pants of your life. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. It really, really helps us out. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up or left us a comment in the comments down below, please do that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram yet over at Gents Lounge, give us a follow over there. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers.